Linux machines have files and those files are owned by users. So if we want to change the ownership, we can change the ownership with the ch own command. So let's take a look first at creating a user and changing ownership of files. So if I do user add Alice, I create a user Alice. And user add Bob to create a user Bob. Now, if I go into the home directory, I can take a look and I can see that they, they both have directories that are owned by them. The first part right here in this directory listing is the owner, and the second part is the owner group. Now, if I want to change the ownership of a file, I can do that. So let's go ahead and create something in the temp directory. So we do temp. And directory listing right here, you can see there are a bunch of files. Now, if I wanted to create some new files, let's just do, um, I could have the touch command create a bunch of files. So let's call this one file1.txt and then file2 and file3. Let's list just these files. Okay, so file one, file two, and file three are all owned by root, and they're owned by root because root created them. Now, if I want to change the ownership, I can do ch own file, actually, um, Alice for the owner, then Alice for the group for file one. And then I take a look at the listing again. You can see that it now is owned by the Alice user and the Alice group. I can also change it um, so the file is owned by something different. Uh, if I wanted to change the Bob, and I don't do the colon and the second portion, which is the group, then it will change just the user and not the group. So take a look at that. I now change this as owned by Bob with the Alice group. Now that would give Bob all the rights in this first category and everything in the Alice group would get all the rights in the second category. Bob would still have all the rights, but Alice would then have rights that were in the group category, but that doesn't give anything more than other. You can also do it where you set a user and group differently with one command. So you do the Alice group and then the Bob or Alice user then the Bob group right here. And you can see that now it has been set to the Alice user Bob group. And you can even do all the files at once if you wanted to. Just do file star, and it changes all of them. Anyway, it's not very difficult to change users and groups of files. If you wanted to figure out more information about a file, you can also use the um, stat command. So file1.txt, and it'll tell you in here um, information about the user and the group ID of the file. Okay, but that's how you change ownership of files.